How to break up with your girlfriend, chat. I put it against my I Take? I put it against my I against Trump. This is our first time meeting the night Trump lost. <laughs> We broke up one day after this picture was taken. And so was all this footage I took at the very end of New York in Montauk. I was driving there to be alone and write this video when I called my ex to get back together. Back together. Nothing went wrong on that trip. It was some of the best time we spent together. But after I realized there was really no option but to break up. Sorry I used you for clickbait, I miss you. Joanna. Joanna, do you have a soulmate? I don't know. I guess some of my friends are kind of like my soulmates. My so friends are soulmates. soulmates. Do you have a soulmate? Um, yes I do. They're my best friend. Mia. Mia, do you have a soulmate? One of them's my best friend. Yeah, see you She's like a sister. I think I have multiple soulmates, so many of them, because I am amazing. I think soulmate can mean a lot of different things, but I think... Why are you rolling your eyes? Like, let me finish! You don't think that? Every, every girl has said the same fucking thing. They were meant to meet for a reason. What the fuck up the word, bro? You know what soulmate means. Or maybe you just have a small perspective. They have to be romantic though. Because I'm not gonna call my bro my soulmate. Why not? That's my twin flame, you feel me? Mm. Nah, nah, you got. Mm. Mm. No, 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 nah, come on, I'm gonna teach you, I'm gonna teach you, I'm gonna teach you, I'm gonna teach you. Look. Mm. 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 Slide back. I fucked it up. Hold on. It's. Mm. Mm. Lock thumbs. Come up. Spin that motherfucker. Mm. Mm. Nah, look, look, look. Mm. Look, look, look. Hold on. Mm. Lock the thumb. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let me tag him by my twin and Look, you fucking, we're gonna, we gonna teach him, right? Hold on, let me, let me show y'all. My twin flame, right? Look, I'm gonna teach y'all. This is scum shit, all right? Look, so you that that motherfucker, slide that motherfucker. Lock that bitch. Lock this motherfucker. Lock that motherfucker, right? Go ahead. Spin that bitch. Come on. Huh? Hmm? Hmm. Twin flame, you feel me? Talking about. Look, 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 you know what I mean? Or you gotta do that. Huh, 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 huh. Yeah, you see it. My twin flame, you see me. You see me. The fuck? Man, come on. My twin flame. Why not? We oh, know this. Man, y'all not Imagine dang me for saying real? that to another man like, yo, bro, you my soul. Twiz handshake? Is that really a twist handshake? Locking hands? The little. <laughs> nah, look, you gotta do that shit for effect. You feel me? The twirl around and pin job? Y'all niggas doing too much. Look, you got. Yeah, me, huh? Huh, huh, come on, y'all, me, lock in. What you talking about? Now, my nails, huh? Nigga done broke his fingers? Man, listen. This is my soulmate. His name is Richard. You don't have to do all that. My breakup must have been humbling because everybody really opened up and reflected honestly, but I'll let you be the judge of that. How's uh, the dating, dating, how's it going? It's not. Not at all? <laughs> I checked out. I'm over, I'm just like over it right now. On the apps and Tinder and Hinge and stuff? Hell no, I can't. I want it to be more organic. You want it to happen naturally, just meeting somebody? Yeah. Oh, shit, less. So what's your number? I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. Playing. That's the question. Whoa, whoa, hey, of course I count. Very young. How old are you? I don't need to say it on this podcast. Actually, I don't even give a fuck. I'm about to be 30, honey. I knock it down. She look good for 30, nigga. She dirty? She look good for 30. She look good for 30. I ain't gonna lie to you. 30? She look good. Nah, she look good for 30. Oh, I look like I, I swear I thought she was like 23, 24 max. Team damn. You look like you're like 23. What's wrong with that? I didn't say there's anything wrong. It's just not my flavor. What's your flavor? My age. My name is Jay. Jay, do you have a soulmate out there? Yes, I do. Are you with them? No. Why not? Because uh, I'm not their soulmate. But because you love your soulmate, you let them live their life. It's not going to make you upset for the rest of your life? Yeah, and I'm kind of cursed this way. That's really sad. How do you cope with, cope with that? I write poetry and do weed. <laughs> way to get some art, some like some feelings out there. You probably like play the guitar at parties. I I play ukulele and bass. What's the difference between love and obsession? Nothing. They're almost indistinguishable, but love is healthy and love is reciprocal. Obsession is not. It changes you. It hooks you in like an addiction. Okay, I agree with what he what he said, but I think love is more so is freeing 
Like, real love chat has no, like, what's the word for it? Real love knows no, like, need for it to be reciprocated. Because, like, if you really love somebody, nothing they do will take that love away from them. You feel me? Like, if I really, like, real life love somebody, no matter what you do, I love you regardless. It knows no bounds. You feel me? Like, love isn't, see, people fuck up love with attraction and obsession. When you're obsessed, when you're obsessed with something, you have to be, it has to be reciprocated or else it's not authentic. You feel me? But if you love somebody, I could love somebody, I could love a girl, right? And she could go do her own shit. But I don't, I don't love you for what you do for me. I love you because of who you are. And as long as you're who you are, none of that matters. You get what I'm saying? Even if they have sex with somebody else, if you love somebody, like genuinely love somebody, whatever makes them happy makes you happy. Because that's real love. You get what I'm saying? Weird ass nigga. I'm weird for that. I mean, you'll get there eventually. You know what I'm saying? A ads gang, yes sir. Matter of fact, shouldn't that say Sounds like you're writing a song right now. I hope so. Can you explain a little more with Soul Tie? What do you mean by that? Fuck your happiness, then you niggas aren't really in love. Y'all don't really love y'all girls. You just love what she could do for you. Because the moment you stop, she stopped doing what you need for her or from her, you don't love her no more. And that's not real love. Um, somebody that like knows you inside and out. They care about you more than they care about themselves. Kind of in, in a way. In a way. Bro, I'm not telling y'all to let y'all bitch get fucked by other niggas. But if you really love that woman, whatever she wanted to do, you'd support. Because that's real love. Y'all niggas don't know real love. Y'all y'all fucking up love. Y'all That's not love. You fuck with her. You attracted to her. You have feelings for her, but you don't love her. You know what I mean? It's insane to me. Not, not really. You really want that? <laughs> but I'm saying, like, if they know, like, I'm sick or something like that, they're catering to me. So simping. If that's what you want to call it, but that's real love. And then simping isn't technically real love either because simping is under the uh, assumption that you get something back for it. Brick Wheezy, y'all niggas is taking shit literally and trying to like drag it, bro. If you love somebody, okay, for instance, chat, if y'all brother told y'all he was gay, would you still love him? Right? You would love him. Because why? Because no matter what he decides to do, that's your brother and you want him to be happy, right? That's real love. You get what I'm saying? But that's real love. The love that a child has for a mother, for instance. Your mom could do no wrong in your eyes. No matter what she do, you're going to be like, that's my mama. That's real love. You get what I'm saying? That's real love. All that other shit's not real love. If your brother kills your mom, would you hate him? I mean, I don't love him no more then. Because he did some crazy out-of-pocket shit. But if my brother smoked a nigga, I'ma still love my brother. You feel me? But now y'all putting it in position where it's like, it's one thing you love attacking another thing you love. That counter, that, that, that's, there's conflict there. Because you love both of them. And you watch somebody you love harm another person you love. You want the best for both of them. So that's, you see the conflict? That's not, that, that don't make sense. Fucking another nigga is out of pocket. When y'all get older, bro, and y'all get past that idea of, like, possession and the ability to, like, control or, you feel me, y'all gonna get it. But y'all young. And any woman you deal with, you should be the only person she deal with. You feel me? And I get that. Can you love someone and still cheat? Yeah, because my love for you has nothing to do with what I did with that other girl. Now, if a girl tells you, if you're in a relationship and your girl tells you she loves you and she cheats on you, she doesn't really love you because she would never do anything to hurt you. You get what I'm saying? But if me and a girl are like platonic, right? 
and I have love for Shawty, and she has love for me. And no matter what we do, we still love each other because our outside life doesn't affect our relationship. That's real love. You get what I'm saying? Unconditional love don't exist? Not for men, at least. Why so human search for unconditional love so bad? Why is the search for unconditional love so bad? Because they look for it in the wrong places. They, they search for unconditional love from people who aren't going to give them unconditional love. What if you say you love her, then you cheat? It, bro, just think about it like this, bro. If y'all have a conversation. Now, this when I say that cheating thing, men and women cheating are two different things. And cheating's not right at all, but a nigga could get a nut off and really not give a fuck nowhere. Like, you feel me? Like, that means nothing. Granted, it would hurt her, and I don't think you love her, but that doesn't affect the love that you have for her, if that makes sense. I don't think you're in love with her. That's not love, but it doesn't mean the feelings you have for her aren't real. You get what I'm saying? Now, if your girl fuck another nigga, you gotta, women how, you gotta understand how women are wired. When a girl cheats, that wasn't a spur of the moment thing. She thought about that. That's how she plotted. Because think about it. How many girls you know fucking somebody they just met that same night? Let's be honest. It's a buildup of things. You feel me? A nigga meet a bitch same night and be like, hey, you trying to suck my dick? Get his dick sucked and keep it pushing. Right? But women, girls, a lot of times, when they cheat, it's 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 more so they have to convince themselves to do it. So if your bitch cheated on you, I want you to understand for two months she was planning that. It didn't happen overnight. It wasn't a one time mistake. She plotted that. She imagined that. She figured out how she was gonna do it. She pulled up, did it, and then left. You feel me? I wanna say it's an emotional attachment, but psychologically, they definitely do be plotting the shit. You can't there's no woman in the world who could tell me before she fucked the nigga she didn't think think it through because that's just how they are they're gonna think it through they're gonna process it niggas think with they dick a nigga's gonna fuck a bitch bitch throwing pussy at me and i'm horny i'm gonna fuck her type shit but a female she can control that she gonna be like all right well i don't know if i really want to do this yet so get what i'm saying y'all feel me kind of thing like they gonna give you a kidney or two yeah i hope i don't need no kidneys do you have a soulmate I think it's all bullshit. Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> Seven billion people in the world. How am I going to meet everybody? You just pick what's around you. Who's your soulmate, right? Ooh, I'm uh, like, nah, come on, man. <laughs> My name is Benny. Benny, do you have a soulmate? Uh, I don't think so. Well, not right now, I guess. Is there one out there for you? I hope so. Just waiting? Hopefully. What is she getting back shots right now? Oh, well, I don't know. Whatever, whatever she's doing, I hope she's happy. You been in a relationship before? Oh, yeah. That's, you see that? That's real love, bro. Whatever she's doing, I hope she's happy. That's love, my nigga. He don't even know her. That's love, bro. I just got out of a really long one. A mutual breakup, though. But, like, it's really amazing to get to have a life where you're, where all of you is also wrapped up in someone else. Oh, I know I have something over here that's keeping me keeping me going, keeping me secure. I wanted to see what I could do when I didn't have Out of the comfort zone. How did you adjust to sleeping alone and not getting regular pussy? Not going to lie, that was, that was tough. That was the toughest part. You know what I mean? Like, every night you come home, you're like, bed is empty. Open up the hub next to you, it's just not the same. You gotta do what you gotta do. You look on Hinge, you start having these bad conversations, talking about fucking, what's your favorite color? What's your star sign? You're like, fuck, I don't give a fuck, bro. No, I'm just, I'm just chilling. I'm right. Take her on a date and you sit down, and you're like, hey, wh 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 where, where do you work? Your star sign, dog. Ooh, and I'm wow. like, ah. Like, fuck, bro, and you just miss her. Then you are, Danny. Have you ever heard of that, uh, the guy in Hinge called West Elm Caleb? Which guy? They make fun of like, guys with hats like that. They say that you ghost girls on the first date. I always ghost girls on the first date. What are you talking about? <laughs> what? Do you have a soulmate? Soulmate? Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I do, I do. Are you with her? I am, uh, I try. It's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been together? <laughs> uh, for a while. Why'd you pick her? Cannot just like ask and because she's special, you know. Special like, sure, from my family, my parents, you know, they want to really? see. Yeah, it's like it's like a thing where I'm from. It's like, but I love the person. I'm happy. So, 
is marriage for the woman? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think it is. This is the this is the will. Look at them over there. See, now that you're married, you can't even say hi to them, right? Hey, would you like to be on the woman? To come over here. I'm married. Wait, bro. come around. Come around. See me? Look at me. I'm single. I can get three bitches to come through the stair. Look at them. They're gonna all walk to the other side. You feel me? Do it. You have to record it. I mean, it's New York, bro. You know. Feel me? Like, come on, man. Now you're gonna be married. You can't even like exercise that muscle. No more. You're not gonna miss that. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna miss it. <laughs> I don't want to leave you out. Olivia! Olivia? Come on. I'm Lemony. I'm Audra. Is body count important? No. no. Only if you're really bad, then that should be embarrassing to you. Like, how can you be a slut and not be good at it? <laughs> how do you know you're in a toxic relationship? Uh, when you have a psychosis, um, at this, a psychotic break. You're gonna ignore all your friends that are like, he's not good for you. Because you're like, no, no, yeah, he's toxic, but you guys just don't get it. You don't see him like me. I didn't know you were in it when you were in it. Um, I was just like, why is he so mean to me? <laughs> That's what love is supposed to be. I mean. He was just like, I cuddled with this girl, but it's okay because she was cold. And I'm like, what? yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why you rolling your eyes? Like, let me finish! So why is that person your soulmate? Because we're perfect for each other. In terms of friendship. He knows me, I know him. Oh, like, it's a dude? Yeah, we tell each other everything. Is he gay? No, he's not gay. Oh, this changes up everything. What difference would that make, though? If he your was... soulmate is a straight man. <laughs> and... Yelling, why you yelling? <laughs> why are you yelling? Her soulmate! Why, why aren't you, like, why aren't you, you know what I mean? Did that nigga leave his kid there? <laughs> why are you yelling? This is how my dad left me. Her soulmate. Why, why aren't you like... Shat, y'all got PTSD from this? <laughs> <laughs> why, why are you yelling? I'll be right back. I promise I'm coming back with some milk. <laughs> Her soulmate. Why, why aren't you <laughs> like... That nigga's not coming. Why aren't you, you know what I mean? Because romantically, bro, we don't... Bro, that nigga's still there. That nigga's not coming back, bro. <laughs> that nigga's not coming back. Bro, nah, we just dead witnessed a nigga get dropped off by his dad. That nigga's not coming back, bro. Work. But I'm tried. Everything out of that, yeah, everything out of that, we're like perfect. He has a whole family, like a wife, children, but you know, we're still really good friends. Even though I can say like, this is my soulmate, we know each other perfectly, we get along perfectly, but being so close together didn't work. So like being together every single second, living together like that, it was like we butted heads. Well, you were arguing all the time. Not all the time. <laughs> Yo, mama gonna be in heads. a little minute. Fighting over petty shit? Yeah, yeah, petty, literally petty shit. When you were young, right? How old are you? Yeah. You were 23, 24? Yeah, like, yep. Let me take a guess. Would he say that all the arguments started from you? No, I don't think so. He started arguments too? Yeah. About what? Oh my God, this is so long ago, like. How does his wife feel that you say that you call each other soulmates? His wife is cool with that? And no. <laughs> Good. Do you think most people are with their soulmates or do they just pick the best they can get? I think love really blinds you in the moment, so it's hard for you to tell. You know, you miss red flags for sure. I've done it. Like two and a half years, my first relationship when I was 16. And I got treated like dog shit because I didn't know any better, you know? She cheated on me. She, she played around. She was like, she was on and off. She was playing with my emotions and shit like that. I was like, fuck that. You know what I mean? I finally established a sense of self-worth. Are you still mad at her? I, yeah, a little bit, you know what I mean? But it's just like... She blocked you? I think I blocked her, but it's just like... You blocked her? I don't block bitches, chat. I want you to see how good I'm doing. Blocked her, yeah. I cheated on and blocked her? That's kind of like the girl thing. I guess it's... I don't know. I don't know. I, I, still, I still get a one-up every once in a while, because apparently, apparently I heard this. I heard from, from one of her friends that... It's a whore? Oh, yeah, no. For big time, big time. No, but she apparently cried when she found out I was in my, my most recent relationship. She was crying about it like two years. You kind of feel good about that. Look at you smiling. Oh, dude, dude they're, they're, you're not over her, bro. You are not over her. Dude, like three inches to my dick, for sure. Like, I, was, I felt like the biggest oh, move on. I, I, <laughs> if you still get an ego boost that she's crying, you're still in the relationship mentally. You're, yeah, you are You are right partially, for sure. The best revenge is moving the fuck on, bro. Yeah. It's one of those things Bats. where it's like you laugh about it for two seconds, then you move on. You know what I mean? Like, you stop thinking about it. But it's still funny to, to like... How big of a smile you have on your face now? <laughs> funny, man. It's funny. I, I'm sure... Ah, stupid bitch cried. Ah! Ah! Step one to getting over the girl you love is only thinking about her in the past tense. No being friends, no closure. It's very difficult not to fold. I just did editing that corny ass montage in the intro, left her voice note saying, I still love you, Princess Yanago. Step two is using that heartbreak pain in the stew. Easy character development right in front of you. Breakup pain can fuel a platinum album. Dead ass. 
Oh God, Break Up Plain Fools, a platinum album. I chat. In the next two years, you may see me start a relationship. Just know. <laughs> Just know. I'm doing it for the heartache. Bless you, thank you. <laughs> Fucking toxic? I need the character development. Step three. That's how I shoot my shot with girls. I'd be like, can you break my heart? Oh, why would I do that? I need the character development. Every time is really the only proven solution. For now, pretend like you don't care. Everything is gonna look a little duller for a while, then it won't. Then you'll find someone else who did the same shit she did. Hopefully. I think it's crazy to think there's one person for you. Because we change too much. Facts. I don't think you should spend your life searching for that one person. You should just settle with what's available? Yeah. <laughs> who did you suck? Stop. I will never settle. Chat, I don't think there's one person in the world for you. I think you need to experience as much as possible. You feel me? So that way when you lay your head down, you can look back and be like, damn, that little lady from uh, Japan was so fly. I'm being my bed with my, with my, I'm being my deathbed with my great grandkids or whatever, whoever happened, you feel me? And they gonna be like, grandpa, granddad, what, what little nigga? I'm like, can you tell us a story? I'm like, mm. this gonna be the, uh, this gonna be the, Asian mixed one. I'm like, mm, I'll take the story how I met your mama. Or how I met your grandmama. I'm like, mm. I'm like, all right. P Paul TK on oh God. I'm like, uh, I remember me and my boys took a trip to Japan. When that motherfucker brothel. No rubber. Ain't pull out of shit. I actually don't know who your mama is. It could be any one of them six bitches. Hmm. I'm not gonna lie, that's my that's my plan for world domination. I'm playing a seat in every country. And then there's sleeper agents. Step 15. <laughs> I'm raising sleeper agents. Step 15. Y'all niggas don't know. Mm. Who, who, who go harder for their dad than their child? You know what? I'm gonna be that, I'm gonna be that dad that's around but always work traveling. So I'm gonna pop up for like two, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks type shit, a month maybe. You know, that's like cool. And then I'm gonna disappear for a year. Come back. Don't do it like that. I'm gonna raise that little nigga to be a super soldier. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All of them. Settle with. Uh, the first one I settled with was a nice guy. Uh, we were too young. <laughs> Judo. Now, imagine you go around the world, right? Imagine niggas become a billionaire. Go around the world having mad kids. And then when you on your deathbed, do like a billboard shit and be like, Welcome to the Hunger Games. All my children, my biologic children, for a chance at my will and my fortune, you must compete to the death against one another. <laughs> Bruh, that should be crazy. What? You just on a billboard, my old ass. I'm like, mm. I'd be like, good luck. <laughs> Is you good? What you mean? That'd be crazy movie. Crazy movie plot. We were just too young. And I, I settled with him because my father wanted me to get married, so I got married. <laughs> you got married? It was, it was bad. <laughs> why, why did it fail? Actually, the real reason why it failed was because he was gay and he didn't know, know it. He was gay? That, and he didn't know it and I didn't know it. That's the reason it You said we were young. What is Out of a whole crowd, you lock eye contact and you don't look away, even though you haven't met. And you kind of communicate like that and you're like, who the fuck is that? Like, just making eye contact with me. And why the fuck are you not looking away? That's like the, at least the inception of like what a soulmate could be. It's like when you have like a click, you have this connection, but you can't My really sort of like chocolate bunny. explain it. It's almost inexplicable. Cut this out of the video. Shun.
Yeah. Hope you don't break it like they done. Chat, I want you to see the nigga who's calling me his little sexy chocolate bunny. It get worse for it get better. Just make sure you mean it before you say don't fall out. Feel like this could be fun. Wait, 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 wait. Shunt, ain't you 4KT? Nigga lit. You know that. Nah, nigga rich. All the fans see a nigga lit. Ain't you 4KT? Remember days I was spinning quick. Ain't you 4KT? Nights on the sip. Wait, 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 wait. Hopping in the whip. That's Dirk Man right there. Ain't you 4KT? This dirt man right here, what you doing? On the block, I thought, I thought, I thought I Kentrell was your cousin. You said Kentrell was your brother then. No, and you still got it up? You supporting them niggas from that side? Nah, nigga, rich. Nah, niggas need to put their flags down. You ain't 4KT for real, bro. Young boy see this shit, he disrespected. Young boy see this shit, he disrespected. All the fans see a nigga lit. You, you, Remember you, day? you in the car sink that shit. Look, 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 look. I was finna quit. Lonely nights on the sip. War time hopping in the whip. Nah, that's crazy, bruh. That's crazy, Sean. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's crazy. That's crazy. Is it bad I'm 17 and still a virgin? I didn't lose my virginity till I was 18. It's just a deep, ardent feeling. You were explaining that right now, Frank Ocean started playing in my head. Like, that was, that was beautiful. What song? Ivy. It was nice. <laughs> what do you think you're looking for in a relationship? Just someone to be, like, compassionate with me. Someone to <laughs> cater to me. About you. you want the liver, you want the kidneys. So, so like people need to care about you more than themselves. I do, I do want, I, I am, I do want to be like the center of attention. I said, I, I'm being honest with you. <laughs> What's the best way to break up with somebody? Do a text for me. Text? For me. If you don't want to have to face the, what you're doing. Yep, I don't. Is that fair? Shouldn't you have to deal with the, the reaction? What if the reaction is like, it's well, going to be my face or something? I don't know. You want them to give you a liver and everything. They care about you more than them. Like, yeah, that's based on what you want. They go go crazy. <laughs> Just like hey, I'm, um, I'm packing my stuff up, and I see you on the flip side. And I did it like while he wasn't home, so it was like he couldn't stop me or anything like that. Wilding out on the phone. Yeah. <laughs> How did you break up with her? I kind of we just I just cried and I was like, look, like. I've been feeling a lot of these self-consciousness. I've been feeling a lot of doubts. I've been feeling a lot of this. You didn't cry too? She, oh, hell yeah. We both cried together. Like, dope, dope, dope. Um, she just like saw the honesty and where I was coming from. And as a person that really cared and loved me, I think she really truly saw that maybe I, w I was being pulled in a direction for a reason or I was truly- Was she hotter in the beginning of the relationship? I think she's hotter at the end. Why the fuck did you leave her? I don't understand, bro. I'm trying to figure out, dog. So I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> Is body count important? I don't think so. Be with somebody with the 500 bodies? I would never ask. What's my reason for asking? What's like? What's the real reason for asking? Jealousy and like personal ego. Yeah. And if he says 20, what is that too much for me? Like, oh, you done fuck 20 bitches? I gotta go. Okay, so say you didn't ask him. Say you found out he had a thousand bodies. Well, I would probably look at him different because I'm like, damn, how old are you that you done fucked a thousand bitches? He's like 33, 34. And like, how, like, how did, like, I think it's a problem, right? That's a problem now? Yeah, I thought like, you said it didn't matter. A mental problem, like, bigger than just, like. So it doesn't matter, but now it's a mental problem? It matter, but it is a problem. Like, why is it a problem? How do you, have a th how do you fuck a thousand people? He's got it like that. Are you a sex addict? Everybody's a sex addict. Oh, they are? Sex is like the best. How are you? How, yeah. Addiction, though. It's an addiction. Everybody's kind of addicted to sex. The whole world oh, is. Addiction. No. Most, like, I would say literally all men want to have sex every day but they just can't so they settle with facts i wouldn't say every day but if you a nigga you think about sex at least three times a week nigga said i just beat my meat you're a sicko um i 
I think about money. Okay, let me rephrase that. If you go on IG and you see a bad bitch, you be like, damn, I'll fuck the shit out of her. You think about sex. Like, just because you don't be in your head like, oh, I want to fuck some, doesn't mean you're not thinking about sex. If you go on Twitter and you see a bad bitch and you're like, oh my gosh, she's bad. You like her picture? You think about fucking her? You're thinking about sex. If you go on IG and you see a bad bitch and you like her picture and you're like, damn, my ass fat as shit. You're thinking about sex, bro. So, I don't think like that. If you say so. So, you're telling me you're not on no social medias. You don't watch no porn. Because sex is thrown in your face. Whether you want to accept it or not, sex is every. Ah, I got the hiccups. Sex is everywhere right now. So you're not on social media. You don't watch porn. What you read all the time? TK, you are my sex idol. I don't have sex. Nigga say he a sponge. Nigga SpongeBob. Faction. I'm sexually attracted to nature. I love Mother Earth. What? Because you can't fuck like you need. A thousand, a thousand. That's not every guy. I think every guy like. So that's the problem, right? Every guy low key wants that, but they just can't do it. So they jerk off or they just don't do it. <laughs> you speaking for yourself, you big freak. If it was realistic, would people really do that? Like, if you could have sex every single with with a new person every single day, would I? Hey, would you? Yes, no doubt in my mind. Oh. With a new woman, if I could choose any, and there was no. Okay. Y'all know what question I'm finna ask. What's up, Sig Sig Damn, I got hiccups. If you could fuck a new girl every day for the rest of your life, would you? Like, and I'm talking about you pick the girl. You niggas saying no are liars, because I know you niggas be out here like, Oh my God, Riri, eh, Zendaya, uh. Listen. If you were the last man on earth and you, they needed you to repopulate the earth and they're saying you could pick any woman you want, you just have to fuck a, a girl at least once a day. Nigga, isn't that an anime? It is. But it's still, you feel me? Valid. Not enough bad bitches. Let's do a social experiment. Let's do a social experiment. So, I click discover on IG. Right? There's not enough bad bitches in the world? Is this what you're saying? You're saying there's not enough bad bitches in the world. What the fuck? That's what you're saying. That's what you're saying. Yo, IG is fucked. I like pretty women. What you mean? How I'm horny? Because all them bitches, bro, you only got shit else with bitches on your uh, discovery. Because I like bad bitches. Anyways, y'all get the point, though. D nigga, you as horny as shit? Yeah, it would get to a chore at w some point, but in the beginning, all you niggas saying yes. Until you get tired of it. Like anything else. Ain't seen one meme or nothing? I'm going on IG to look at fucking memes? I'm going on IG to look at fucking memes. 
Instagram is the best way to sell some pussy. Listen. Facts. Who, who said that? Kanye? IG the best way to... Sp- no sports? Man, that's what Twitter for. K dot? Somebody said it. I don't remember. It's K something. No NFTs? I don't even believe NFTs. NFTs are a scam. You want to know how I know? Because I know niggas doing NFTs. And they said it's a scam. You niggas getting rug pulled. I can't wait. Y'all niggas is investing in NFTs. I can't wait till this shit shut down. Like the uh, NBA Top Shot packs. I can't wait, bro. You niggas gonna get scammed. They shut down. NFTs, not ain't shut NFTs down, but they're not trending as much as they used to. NFTs are gonna fall off because there's no like solid backing for it. Cause you niggas is paying hundreds of thousands of dollars for a fucking auto-generated picture. NFTs are a way for rich people to get richer. You know why DDG 100K NFT is worth 300K now? It's because he got scam niggas like you to purchase it. The more clout something has, the more people want it. The more people want it, the higher the price. La baby NFT. Why you think they why you think they push NFTs on famous people? Why you think they giving niggas like me, Josh and other niggas and content creators NFT bags? Think about it. It's why the rich stay richer. Cause that's what you're looking at. Why you think rich people don't pay for shit? You have a D in your throat. I'm glad that's what you chose to end your career here on. Oh, you got him, Glock? Don't time him out. Untime him out. I'm going to ban that nigga. Oh, like I didn't have to spit game. Drink some water? That's so far. Hey, step in. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get some water.